Asalaamu Alaikum everyone, I'm just going to dive into uh, SLP once again and uh, here we are with the SLP and I told you, uh, you know, regarding one thing and that is the, the break of a trend line. Do you see that this trend line was broken? So it does make sense to me that when you break out of a trend line, you just go back for the retest. Now this is nothing more than just a correction which was pending and overdue and uh, the bull flag target that I've been talking about previously guys, that one has nearly, nearly, nearly been met, okay? nearly been met just there it didn't went all the way to the target but it was way way more close to the target now that has played out so what i just see here is not something negative at this point of time yes it's gonna be negative once you start to fall inside here and then again you go and lose these levels okay you lose those levels then it's gonna be nasty once again then it's gonna be very very bad now unless that doesn't happen no, uh, it's really hard to say anything right now. So I'm going to dive in into the weekly time frame. And uh, we've already seen that. Oh, <clears throat> there is something a little bit shady right now. All right. So I do have the Heiken Ashi right now here. And uh, normally when you have a Heiken Ashi and you start to actually flash green like this, then the next week become green as well. Do you understand that? But there is one more problem that I actually see with Heiken Ashi with, uh, with SLP at this point of time. So you do got this place up here. Do you understand that? And then you, you are going down and down and down and down for so many weeks. Now here we are. And uh, for this one, I'm actually, what I'm going to tell you is that do you see this big wick to the upside this one right here the closing was still below the trend line the closing was below the trend line and the hack and ashi are really good at this one because they filter out all of these noises uh from from the charts and they give you the the, the filtered candlesticks so what i see here is in this a repetition of this because once again you you are still closing below the trend line at, at least at this point at, uh, of moment but that doesn't actually just uh, it's not a final thing it doesn't still mean that you cannot go to the upside of course you can continue to go to the upside now the weekly here um, is actually pumping to the upside what we want to see though is that on the daily we remain above this trend line if you start to lose that trend line and bitcoin and do have some retracement to the 40,000 k so what i'm expecting is that slp does come back to this trend line nearly this place which is going to be uh 21 potentially okay so go to the 21 touch the 21 and hold it and then continue that will be amazing otherwise you will start putting in another fake out something very similar that happened here you went to the upside you fall back into the trap and then you continued sideways and then boom you went all the way down do you understand that so anything can happen in this space okay nothing is guaranteed into cryptocurrencies but right now um uh expecting uh, if bitcoin actually remains cool and calm then that's gonna be okay but there's one more thing that uh tells me that this retest might might actually pass and the reason why the retest can actually pass is because we're about to form a bullish cross do you understand that and you, you could just come down here find support right there of course and uh, you, you can already see the 55 coming up the 10 coming up and then the 20 coming up make that bullish cross come back and back test the emas that's positive that's okay this is healthy what you see here is not negative at all it's just a part of a correction right yes unless once again you don't start to come down to these levels maybe 172 if you do come down to the 17 then you're gonna go way more down do you understand that if you i'm gonna actually put this line right there to the 17 because now you're falling into the trap once again and you might instead of having that bullish cross you might have the bearish cross all of a sudden and that's how the charts just change now unless we don't see how this uh the, the things go on go to tradingview.com watch uh draw these lines along so that you can make a nice good decision out there i could be wrong potentially in anything and right now you just go up come down back test for me this is what the potential scenario looks to me and uh, if that doesn't happen then, oh my friend, you're, you're actually going to go all the way down into here and you're going to be trapped and we cannot do anything about that. So that's it for today, SLP update. I'm going to see you the next one. I love this.
Asalaamu Alaikum everyone, I'm just going to dive into uh, VeChain once again. Now this is actually kind of disturbing, there's something that I actually want to show you on the Qcoin chart as well. So here we are with the Qcoin chart and it seems like it made a fake out of the break of this trend line, alright? And that's not good, that's not really good at all. Now yesterday we were supporting, we actually bounced off the trend line two three times and this was expected that this time it's actually bouncing off it. There was a confirmation on the daily by the way. But damn, sometimes uh, just when you don't expect the charts not to be invalidated, they just get invalidated all of a sudden. So here we are and uh, you can see for the first time we actually broke out of this area after a very long time and you went up like this. You bounced off not once, not twice, but three times. Do you see that? But still, even after this one, boom, you went to the downside. And why? It's Bitcoin. It's Bitcoin. When Bitcoin starts to correct to the downside, you're actually going to see uh, VeChain correct to the downside. Now, I do expect uh, you know, Bitcoin to go all the way down to $40,000 at this point of time and maybe stop at the 40000 nearly 39000 something. And then from there, we're going to see if Bitcoin actually just, uh, just goes and stop. But it would be actually very, very nasty really nasty if uh, you know v chain starts to lose uh, these levels like nearly or maybe potentially starts to lose this price level the 44 level if you start to come down to the 44 and you take out the 44 then that's going to be absolutely bad and you're going to continue all the way to the downside that's just simple that's given that's that's just how it is on the charts but at this point of time the way bitcoin bitcoin is just correcting all over and uh, VeChain, of course, is going to correct along with Bitcoin. Now, who knows what's going to go and happen, what's about to happen into the next coming days. But I do see a small support of VeChain right now, nearly uh, the 0 0.0546876. But that's just how crypto is, man. One, one moment, you're actually making some good positive progress to the upside. The second moment, you just see, then boom, that the charts are looking good for the altcoins and Bitcoin starts to correct and everything just goes down to the, to the downside and they start losing the structure as well. So what I'm going to tell you is one technical target on the 4 hour time frame because you're breaking out of a double top, okay? So this was your first top and this is your second top and from this one you have that neckline right there. So the technical target that you're looking for is from the top here to the bottom and from wherever you're breaking out. I think uh, the technical target has already been met for uh, VeChain at this point of time. But in my opinion, it's going to continue to go to the downside as long as Bitcoin is actually correcting. One, one more thing I, I think that I noticed is that you have a bear flag on the one hour time frame. So you're, you're looking to go on for furthermore retracement. So this is your bear flag. And uh, from the top to the bottom right here, from wherever you're breaking out right now, this is going to take you all the way down to the 50, right? So this is your technical target right now to the 50. And from from this point of time, you still have some drops like 10% pending out of uh, out of V chain as well, which is kind of nasty a little bit, considering if you're actually looking for a day trading opportunity. So here we are with the 50, and that's where you have your next level of support. Okay, this you're gonna have some few touches right here, so you could you could have actually find support at this point, come down, find support once again, and then from here you start to pick to the upside. And as as I said before, you start to go down to that 44 area, then that's gonna be bad. Or Bitcoin does go to fifty six thousand dollars, that's equally going to be bad as well. And that's it for today's update. I'm still looking for this bear flag to play out to the fifties, and I wanna see you the next one. Hello, office.